Hey guys, welcome to today's video where we are here to talk about Sigma Beauty, one of my favorite brands, y'all. Sigma Beauty is running their anniversary sale right now, so I wanted to throw this video together so that you would know what you should consider picking up what is worth the money. So that's what we're going to talk about today. If you're new, hello and welcome. My name is Kelly and I love all things makeup and beauty. I love talking. I love makeup. I love talking about makeup. So if you'd like to chat about makeup too, this is the place for you. But why don't we go ahead and start talking about Sigma Beauty. Beauty is best known for their brushes. They've been around for a while. I have tried their brushes for years, but they also do have some makeup products. So I have five brushes I want to share with you. I have five makeup must-haves, and there's another item that I use like every single day that I think you should know about. I do also want to say that any of the links that I have listed down below are affiliate links. I have a code KBella if you want to save a little bit of extra money if you're shopping any time of the year. But if you're not comfortable with affiliate links, type in sigmabeauty.com. You can still shop these online. And I I do think that brush sets are the way to go. I would advise if you want to purchase several brushes, if you're trying to stock up, go ahead and search their site, look at their brush sets, decide which one you think is the best for you and go that route. But I do have some individual favorites, brushes and makeup tools that I'm using every single day that I want to tell you about. Since Sigma is so well known for their brushes, we're gonna start there with my favorites. I have two face favorites, one of them being this blush brush right here. This is technically the F40. It's called the Large Angled Contour, but I use this for blush, and I actually have two of these. I love this brush. I think that it's absolutely perfect. It's $24, and the thing that I love about it is it is dense enough that it can pick up pigment, it can place the pigment where I want it, but it's also fluffy enough and soft enough that it blends out the blush beautifully so I'm picking up the pigment I'm able to place it on my cheeks where I want it and then get that smooth seamless blend the shape of it is just perfect it is contoured so the way that it is shaped and kind of like an oval I'm able to really get the apples of my cheeks push the product into my skin and get this beautiful seamless application this is a staple for me like if you are in the market for a blush brush I highly highly recommend this one it is amazing it travels with me I use it every Every single day like I said I have two of them I have two of them because it's that good another brush that I think is a must-have this is the tapered highlighter brush it is the f35 again I have two of these and the reason why I have two of these is because I purchased the first blush brush I purchased this first highlighter brush and then Sigma did send some to me but this one is perfect for picking up highlighter. I love this one because I'm able to pick up the highlighter and really put it on the high points of my cheeks. This isn't too small that I'm getting streaks or I'm having a hard time blending it out, but it's not too big that it's taking up my entire cheek. And it's also just fluffy enough that it's picking up the product and I'm able to blend it out. And it really creates that like glow from within where it looks like my actual skin is glowing. It's not streaky. It's not chunky. It's blending blending the product in, putting it where I want it. And it's the perfect size to like hit up the tip of my nose. I can hit up my cupid's bow. I can hit above the brow. Like it is, it's everything I want in a highlighter brush. I know that a lot of highlighter brushes do tend to be on the smaller side, but when they are smaller, I find that I have a harder time just really making it look like my skin. It looks a little bit streakier. It, it stands out more. Whereas this kind of creates that glowy effect in my skin that I know and love. I've used this one for years. I love it. It's definitely a staple for me. In the event that I did not mention the price of this brush, it is $26. I also want to talk about three eye brushes with you. Now, I do have more than three Sigma eye brushes, but I was trying to keep this like a top 10. You know, like my top 10 Sigma favorites. So I have three brushes that I feel like are must-haves. A lot of the brush sets that you're going to see on the Sigma site are going to carry their E40 tapered blending brush. The brush itself is $18, but this is one of their best sellers. It's a fan favorite. It's one that the YouTube space has been talking about for so long. It's just like the perfect tapered blending, like the name says. So again, it's nice and fluffy. It's going to pick up the product. It's going to really place it where you want it in your crease. You can spin your brush around, diffuse it, blend out the edges, and it just makes for seamless blending. Like I'm able to apply the product, I'm getting the pigment, and it's not blending away, but it's blending out. I tend to be a heavy blender. Like I can just go and go and go and go and go, but this brush makes it so seamless that I don't have to do that. 
A brush that I really like for detailed work is the E42. This is the Precision Firm Blender. I like to take this one and I like to use it on the lower lash line. I have some fine lines and wrinkles under there, so I want to kind of bring my shadow down. I want to blend it out. This one is $16 and it's firm enough that it's going to put the pigment on there, but fluffy enough that it's going to blend it out. Now it's not too thick that my eyeshadow is going all underneath my eyes, but it's not too thin that it's creating like a precise line. So I feel like this is a great one to take whatever shade I used in the crease with my E40. I'll put on this brush and just kind of blend underneath the lower lash line and it really creates a nice soft seamless blend. But then I'll follow that one up with my pencil brush, which is the E30. Y'all, I have like three or four of these. <laughs> This was one of my very first brushes that I tried from Sigma Beauty. My original has been through the ringer. It no longer has kept its shape because it's like, it's older than my kids. I've had it for so long, but I still use it. And I really like the pencil brush to dip into and create more of a defined line. I have small hooded eyes, so I really like to take the liner and put it on the outer part of my eye to create some depth and dimension and make my eye look larger. I will also use this like back in the days when we did cut creases. I I would use this for a cut crease. It's great if you want to take it on the inner corner and put a lighter shade there. I just feel like this brush is so versatile and you can never really go wrong with having a pencil brush in your collection. So that's probably why I have three of them. This brush is another one that you'll probably see in a lot of their kits, but if you do purchase it separately, it's $16. Now that we've talked about my favorite brushes, let's go into some makeup products. If you're not new here, you have heard me talk about this and rave about it time and time and time and time again, and I'm going to continue raving about it. It is the Color Correcting Duo. Mine is in the shade light to medium. I mean, y'all, like clearly. Clearly I love this product. I've like hit pan on both sides. I use the heck out of this. This is great if you struggle with under eye darkness. It really does cancel out the darkness, like the blue brown that's in my under eyes, the purple. It's gonna cancel it out and really just create a nice base to work with. I like to put this underneath my foundation. So I will go in after I've primed my face, put a little bit on my finger and put it where I have that darkness underneath my eyes and blend it out with my finger. I do struggle with dry under eyes. This is nice and creamy. So so it really gives like a soft, like a natural skin like finish. You could even wear this without foundation if you wanted to because you do get such a natural finish. Now this is $30. I know that like the light medium is out of stock a lot, but y'all, if you can get your hands on this, it is so worth it. It's the best color corrector that I've tried. You can use it underneath foundation and concealer. It doesn't cake up. You can use it on its own on no makeup days. It really is so versatile and like, Y'all, this is just, this is just a favorite. I would be willing to say it's probably like in my top three Sigma favorites, like of all of, all of the products together, top three. I do have dry skin, so I don't powder my whole face. I never have. I just like to powder underneath my eyes and my forehead, but I need a powder that's not going to be too heavy. I need it to be thin. I need it to be finely milled. I need it to not accentuate my dry patches. And let me tell you, the powder from Sigma, this is the Soft Focus Setting Powder. I have the shade Vanilla Bean. It does just that. This powder is $32. It really is a soft focus, so it's not going to completely mattify, but it definitely evens out the base. It gives you like a little bit of a filter effect and it really smooths everything out without being too heavy. It's not clinging to the dry patches that I'm struggling with. It's not accentuating my fine lines, but it's really making my face look filtered and looked soft and looked smooth. And so I just love it. I just love it. It's a great powder. If you have dry skin, definitely, definitely recommend this powder. So remember when I was talking about the F35, the tapered highlighter, and I was letting you know that it's my favorite brush to apply highlighter. Well, I love the highlighters from Sigma Beauty. This is the shade Twilight. These are not for the faint of heart. These are not subtle. These are not going to just give you a tiny little, like, no. These are beaming. I want the astronauts who are trying to go to the moon to be able to see my highlighter. Like, I want it to stick out. I want it to be there. I want everybody to see it. I want it to look like my skin. I want to look like a vampire from Twilight. And this highlighter does that for me. It's $35. The shade Twilight is more of like a rose gold type of shade. And I feel like it just looks so pretty on my fair skin with my red hair. It's different than some of my others because it's not leaning champagne, but it's not leaning too pink. It's just a nice, cooler toned highlight that really accentuates 
my cheekbones and makes my skin look bright without clinging to my dryness, without accentuating texture. Like it just, it's perfect. Like this really is a holy grail combination. I do not have a Sigma favorite set, but if I were to create one, I would probably be like, is there a way for us to let people pick their highlighter shade and give them the F35 and call it a day because it's perfection together. Speaking of face products, I also really love their bronzer. This is their matte bronzer. I have the shade medium. I am picky about my bronzers, y'all, because I need it to be very neutral. I don't want it to be too cool. I'm not trying to contour with it, but if it's too warm, I feel like it clashes with my red hair. Like, I really need one that's neutral, but it's going to warm up the face, and it's going to give my face some depth and dimension without being too harsh. This one really does it. Again, it's $35. This bronzer is matte, which I appreciate because even though I have dry skin and I'm looking for glow and I'm looking for dew and I want to like have my highlighter beam into outer space I want my bronzer to be matte because I am trying to give my face dimension and I am trying to give my face depth and I don't want to just be this fair skin washed out looking ghost so I want more of a matte bronzer that's going to blend out that's going to look natural and be a neutral shade and this one just does it for me it is very pigmented like going with a light hand a little bit goes a long way but it blends out seamlessly and it's just a fantastic bronzer overall we've talked about tools we've talked about some products I also want to highlight the eyeshadow palettes. Sigma has a wide range of eyeshadow palettes. You can get like their full sizes, you can get their smaller sizes, they have quads, they have the works. Now I am into like my mini era. I like a smaller petite palette. So the palette that I have on my eyes today is the Tiramisu eyeshadow quad from Sigma. This is more of a cooler tone, but I like these little quads. I have all of them. I have all of them here with me and I like them because you get like a matte transition shade, you get a deeper shade that you can like kind of accentuate, deepen out the outer V, smoky liner situation. Then you have one that's more of a satin finish for kind of like the inner corner or brow bone and then you have a shimmer that's really going to shine and give you the bang for your buck. I love these quads. I think they're quick. I think they're easy. I think they're great for on the go. But if you're looking for a little bit more variety, a little more of a range when, when you're picking your eyeshadow palettes and you need more options, they also have these seven pan palettes. This one is the new mod. And again, you have a mixture of the mattes and the shimmers. You have some toppers. You have the works. But these are seven pan eyeshadow palettes. And I want to say they're like $27. I think the quads are $19. So they're more affordable. But you have a variety here. I really like the formula of Sigma shadows because they have a mixture, right? Like their mattes are super creamy and blendable. Then they have the shimmers that are bam in your face. If you want to sparkle, they have toppers that are really going to help you to sparkle, but they also have some satin finishes where if you have more mature lids or texture on your lids that you're struggling with, the satin finish just really looks amazing. So I really enjoy the quality. I like the variety that they have. Like I said, I'm into like a little mini era, but they do also have larger palettes that I know and love as well. So definitely check them out if you are in the market for an eyeshadow palette. I cannot end a Sigma Favorites Sigma recommendation video without talking about my dusty, crusty Sigma switch, y'all. Look at this. It is so dirty. It is so dirty. I use my Sigma switch every single day every single day because I'm horrible at washing my brushes and I want to use my brushes. I want to use them every day. I have tons of makeup, so I'm constantly rotating. I love to use my Sigma switch when I am in between washes, which can sometimes be weeks. The thing that's nice about it is they do have sections like they tell you for eyeshadow blending, if you have liquid products, if you have powder products, contour bronzer, but really I just kind of like wherever I have free space, I will go and brush off my brush. This is easy to travel with because you don't have to actually clean, but it's going to take the pigment off of your brush. It's not going to clean your brush in the sense that like, okay, sparkly clean, lay it out, like you're good to go. But it's going to give you like a little mini clean where it's taking the pigment off that you've used. You can go in with another pigment. That's why I think this is I mean, I use it every single day, but this really is great to travel with because you can take it with you. Like, I don't know who's going on vacation and like taking their soap brushes and like cleaning their brushes while they're out on vacation. Some people may. That's not me. That's not the life that I live. So I like something like the Sigma Switch where I can take it with me, clean my brushes off between uses. I'm not getting pigment all over. If I do a smoky eye one night, I can do a natural eye the next night. Like, it's just, I, I use this every single day. 
it is so worth it if you get nothing else like get the Sigma switch and get the color correcting duo like if you get nothing else get these two products I failed to mention that this does cost $19 and they do have a travel size which is a little bit smaller for 15 but y'all you can travel with this like pay the extra four dollars get the larger one it's worth it that's gonna do it for this video guys I hope that you found it helpful like these are my must-haves from Sigma these are my top 10 favorites these are the products that I use time and time again I really think they're worth it if you are going to shop shopping the sale would definitely be a great time save some money but if you're shopping throughout the year too I do have that code KBella it's gonna save you money throughout the year I mean there are even times where Sigma will let you stack influencer codes on top of their sale so if you don't want to use my code like use someone's code y'all save some money find an influencer who you love respect support trust like use their code and save yourself some money but that's going to do it for this video thank you guys so much for watching make sure to subscribe before you go that way i can see you in the next one bye